Hi guys, get ready with me while I give you a life update about how I broke up with my boyfriend, I got COVID, and I got grounded all in the past like five days. Okay, I feel like, wait, hold on, pause, because I feel like I need a drink to sit down and talk about this. So let, let's go to Starbucks and then let's come back. Hi, can I just get um, a venti pink drink with light ice, please? I got my pink drink! Okay, I'm back. I got my pink drink and I'm ready to chit chat. I have no clue where to begin and you might be wondering lily why are you smiling right now <laughs> because if i don't then i might fall my ass okay let's get started <laughs> okay so today's monday it's labor day happy labor day this whole story dates back to last tuesday so last Tuesday, I had to get COVID tested because I was supposed to meet Dr. Biden. If you watch my videos, you know what I'm talking about. First lady came to my school to talk to a club that I'm in. Um, if you don't watch my videos, that's what was going on. Basically, I was supposed to actually meet her and I didn't get to meet her because I tested positive for COVID. Even though I wasn't contagious, since it's someone of such high authority, they still couldn't take any risks. And I was not able to meet her. So I found out I had COVID, but I wasn't contagious. I still didn't want to hang out with anyone. A couple days later, I was like, all right, I guess I'll hang out with people again now. So basically, I was feeling sneaky for no reason. There was no reason that I needed to do this. I lied to my mom about where I was going for like literally the first time i never lied. me and my mom are like very close i never lie to my mom and i don't know why i was feeling i was in a malicious mood i lie to my mom about where i'm going i go i'm not gonna give details because like what if my college is watching this like girl i i want to get into college i swear i'm a good kid this is my first time and i'm never gonna do it ever again i promise <gasps> basically I, I did a little fib. I did a little fib, and my fib was not good enough, and I thought I had paused my location, but I messed up the little hack, and my location was indeed not paused. So, <laughs> I got caught, like, after being there for literally, like, three hours, I got caught, and um, my parents were sending, like, um, the find my iPhone alert, they were sending it to my phone, they were sending me, like, they were calling me, sending me voice, like, um, voicemails telling me to get home right now, so obviously I wasn't gonna push it anymore, and so I zoom my ass home. I can't believe I'm telling this story. Um, I zoom my ass home, and my parents are sitting on the front porch. <laughs> like, when I pull up to my house, my parents are sitting on the front porch, like, ready to talk. And I'm like... <sighs> so, you know, my parents had no clue what to do. I had never gotten in this kind of trouble before. Like, they took my phone, they took my car keys, and today is the first day that I got my phone and my car keys back. So, today's Monday. So, I've been grounded since Thursday night. Yes, I did this on a, thir <laughs> on a Thursday night. So, I'm not proud. I'm not proud. <laughs> laughing, like, if I don't joke about it, then I will cry about it. Like, laughing is my coping mechanism. Anyway, so while I was grounded for this long time that felt like longer than it was i had a lot of self reflection to do i spent the whole entire time like just thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking like all i did was just think and i came to the conclusion that i like me and my boyfriend are like not meant to like just not meant to be at all which i had known for a long time I just thought we need some more time we need some more time like let us cook let let, <laughs> let us cook and I had just kept telling myself like give it time give it time give it time whatever and as a couple we just were not growing I felt like 
we were just never going to fall in love and i feel like when you are gonna fall in love with someone you know before you do fall in love and i just couldn't see that for us and which was really sad because he's a great guy and we had a lot of fun together but i felt like we were lacking emotional like intimacy like we didn't connect on an emotional level like on like a spiritual level and like i don't know that's that's what my soul craves like that is what a relationship is to me and i just felt like we were friends with benefits before and then when we made it official i felt like we were still friends with benefits and to me that's that's just not a relationship i just felt like we were two people just kind of like messing around like i that i that's not that's not gonna fly so basically um i did break up with him um it was kind of mutual because he was like agreeing with everything that i was saying and we still like want to be friends with each other and he was like i hope we can still be friends and i was like i really don't think we'll have a problem still being friends because i feel like even when we were dating we were more of friends anyway so there's no reason that like we can't be friends now so like we're on good fine terms um it was it was pretty mute like i i don't i don't know if i should use the word mutual but i feel like it was pretty mutual like he was agreeing with the things that i was saying i just really didn't feel like we had that spark and the spark is just something that it just needs to be there like you can like someone like you can have a crush on someone and not have that spark but if i'm going to be committed to someone i want to have that spark i want to have that like time slows down and like no one else exists moment like i want to have that and he deserves to have that too and it just wouldn't be fair to keep forcing because i've been forcing and that's just not fair like what's the quote where it's like i'd rather i'd rather lose you than lie to you that it's like that but no one lost anyone we're on good terms but yeah even though i mean it's really shitty to break up with someone i i feel pretty good because i listened to my heart and it wouldn't have been fair to lead anyone on so i'm a single woman again i knew i wasn't ready to be in a relationship again but i figured i'll give it a try guys don't do that word of advice don't <laughs> don't give it a try because it has to do with other people's feelings and that's that's messed up don't do that but yeah right now i'm feeling pretty good my covid is like completely gone it's been over a week it's been like two weeks since i started showing symptoms and now i'm not sick anymore um you know i said what i needed to say got it off my chest I'm not grounded anymore. I have my car back. I have my phone back. I could talk to you guys. Guys, I miss you guys so freaking much. I was watching Get Ready With Me, like, YouTube on my TV because I just missed Get Ready With Me so much. Like, this is my life. I love it so much. Um, I feel like I'm definitely coming back with a banger. Um, and guys, I had so many fun things that I was supposed to do this weekend, and I didn't get to do any of them. But, you know what? I still have my whole life. I still have my whole life. Also, I used this bee tan for the first time, and I literally look like I got a spray tan. It looks so professional. No promo, no sponsor. I just liked it. And this is the shade and everything. And I also thought it was the Target brand. I was going around asking people if they had tried Target brand tanning. How stupid is that? Because tell me this font does not look like the Target font. It literally looks like the Target font. Okay. Oh, I need lip gloss. One second. Alright, I'm using my Fenty lip gloss. Damn, I used all 10 minutes of this video. Ah! I love you guys so much. And I hope you have the best day in the world. Because you deserve it. Bye guys. Love you. Hey guys. And get ready to me, I'm also going to give a curling tutorial soon. 
But these are yesterday's curls. Also, I got my little record player going because it was like really silent in my room and I needed something. Okay, so first I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. I got these shorts from Airy. This top is also from Airy. And I'm just like obsessed with these shorts. Okay, now getting into the makeup and stuff. I'm gonna give you guys a story time today. Which I normally don't really have too many like story times, but my friends told me to make this because this happened yesterday. And it's just honestly just a funny story and just like honestly insane but okay so yesterday we went to six flags which is like three hours away from us okay two and a half two whatever it's far it took us forever to convince like one of our parents to bring us and we finally got a ride and we were just so so hyped for this so we're driving there we get there this is the boring stuff um we get there, we're doing all these rides. It was so fun, gonna be honest. So basically where everything goes down is on Superman. If you've ever been to Six Flags, like, you'll know the ride I'm talking about. This wasn't when we first got there. Like, we had done a couple rides. So then we go on Superman. And for every ride, there's either a phone pouch or you, like, keep your phone in your bag in the locker or you just bring it with you, which you're not allowed to have it out. So you just, like, bring it with you. So we were like, is there phone pouches there? Because we didn't want to just lay our phones out where someone could possibly take it. So we asked the lady in the locker room if there were pouches up there. And she goes, yes. So we put our bags away. And we grab and we bring our phones. So we're not bored in this half an hour, maybe even longer. I forget how long it was. Line. So we play, like, charades and stuff. Then we look around us in line and, like, everyone has their phones with them. So we're like, yeah, there's, like, a pouch upstairs. Like, well, it'll be okay. We get closer to the ride and there's no pouch on the ride. And we don't want to just leave our phone, like, on a shelf because someone could just easily take that. So I had jean shorts on, but they were high rise. So I just, like, shoved them, like, like in my pants. Everyone else had phones, so it was, like, everyone's just putting them in their pants or something. Or everyone's just, like, putting them in pockets and stuff. Okay, so then the ride was over and it came to a stop. Um, like, we were, like, about to go into the, like, little thing where the ride ends. Okay, so th I'm really taking a long time to say this story. But then, so basically, it came to a stop, and I whip out my phone. Whip out. I take out my phone to take a picture. The ride's completely stopped. So if my phone was in a pouch, I would have taken it out of the pouch by that point. I take it out, and I take a 2.5 of me and my friend. And then my two other friends in front of me um, took their phones out too. To so now we're exiting the ride and then a security comes over and pulls my friend and her over to the side. And was like, we're ejecting you from the park. Ejecting? Anyway, so my friend's like, like we didn't even comprehend what was happening. Like me and my other friend were behind. So when my two friends are getting like pulled to the side, getting talked to by security, we were just, I was just like, what's going on? Then they were like, you're ejected, follow us out. And me and my other friend went over and they were like, yeah, they had their phones out. You got, you two are getting ejected. And then we were like, obviously going to go out with them. We were like, please, no, like we didn't mean to. Like we were so nice. So like obviously no attitude or anything to any adults. We were like, please, like, can you, could this just be a warning? Like we didn't mean to. The ride was stopped. She was not hearing any of us out. But then she turns on and talks to the guy and was like, should we, sh like, should we give him a chance or something? And then she turns on and goes, nope. And we were like, we're actually getting ejected right now. They used the word ejected and now we're just making fun of it. Because ejected is like in Among Us. And then they're walking us out of the park and we're just like in disbelief. And I, like we didn't even do anything. The ride was parked and we took out our phones. And the guards, oh my goodness, they are the meanest people ever. They are so annoying. At least the two we had, guard security. Oh my goodness, they were like all the hate to them. They were also so confusing and we asked how we could get back in. Like, is there any way? And they were just not happy with us at all. So they literally kicked us out the park. Like our parents weren't, e like my friend's parents weren't even there yet. They just like left us outside of the park. We were like, our parents aren't here yet. No, no, no. And they just like, just dropped us off. Then our mom came and was like, I'm going inside to talk to someone. Talk to like four people until my friend's mom was like super play like there was nothing going on she was just like please they didn't mean to like i'll take their phones like just reasonable stuff then this super nice other security guard because we had like five came out i guess he was like maybe better than like the other like in a higher position than the other security guards my friend's mom talked to them again but they kept saying no but then that guy was like like he was hearing us out then my other friend was like, the mom told us not to talk. 
Because, like, <laughs> yeah, like, we should just leave it up, like, to her. Then my friend, like, raised her hand and goes, like, Sir, respectfully. She literally said that, and then we were all, like, oh, God, like, she's gonna, like, say something that's, like, gonna get us kicked out for life. But then she was, like, like, what would you have wanted me to do in that? Like, like, I forget what she said, but, like, what if she said he didn't have a response to it? And then, like, he was, like, after that, he was, like, I'm gonna call them up and see, like, if we're gonna let you guys back in or not. And basically, moral of the story is we did get let back in after an hour of, like, dealing with these security guards. We were literally so scared. Then we just got let back in and did that same ride again, and someone was holding their phone. Someone filmed the whole entire ride in the front of the roller coaster with their phone out filming it, and they didn't get in trouble. <laughs> like, they didn't get in trouble because we followed that person a little bit to see if, like, a security guard is going to get them or something because we, like, we were... It was literally still in the ride. We were, like, walking out them and got caught caught but yeah so that was our day yesterday i mean it's a story to tell i don't normally do story time so hopefully i didn't like get to the point like i got to it but yeah so i hate six flag security that's the end get ready with me while i share the story on how i got kicked out of my sorority this is honestly so bad but you have to remember i'm like 19 years old at the time i am a child and i'm also getting in trouble from other 19 year olds telling me what to do so the whole thing is just like in hindsight hilarious i remember it so clearly i literally got an email i was getting sent to standards the standards board on four different counts four different counts all in one day. So we're gonna go count by count. So you have to remember the year is like 2016 and Finstas were all the rage and my Finsta was popping. I had some good content. So the head of our standards board was a real stickler, but she was like a year older than me. Let's say her name was Abby Turner. I literally just made that up. That's not her name. So naturally on my Finsta, I had to post, fuck you, Abby Turner. Duh. And I get called to standards first for this one. So I walk in the room and there's Abby Turner with the screenshot of my post. And she's like, that's the first one. The second one, this one was actually not my fault until this day pisses me off. Something happened. I wasn't even home. I was at a man's house. I was not even at the sorority house. And girls were saying they smelt coming from my room, which okay where are the credentials i literally was not even there the entire day i was gone i was doing my own thing um so what did they do a group of girls that were on the exec board you know who you are i hope you see this they ripped apart my room they ripped apart my entire closet every single drawer they're looking they're sniffing out the the devil's lettuce and they didn't find anything they didn't search my roommate side no she was on honor roll it couldn't have been her Anyways, I got in trouble for that, for smoking ganja in the sorority house. I wasn't there. It, it was not me, girlies. While they were doing their little scavenger hunt for the devil's lettuce, they found a handle of vodka. So I got sent to standards for that, too, because you're not allowed to have alcohol in the sorority house, which every single other girl had alcohol in the sorority house. So then after that, I was put on probation for, like, so many months that I was, like, I won't be off probation till I'm a fucking senior. I'm out of here. So I dropped and then I never looked back. That's all. My day was great until my teacher decided to lose the paper. The paper I freaking turned in three weeks ago. And you know, you know how I know I turned it in because I wasn't there the day that it was due. Which means I vividly remember walking up to him the next day with two papers in hand and giving it to him. And I explained this and I explained the fact that I helped literally the four girls at my table with the paper, but I didn't have the paper because I said I turned it in already, so I had to help them off the top of my head. And what was his response? What was his response? I don't lose papers. I pin all my classes together, you just didn't turn it in. Oh, like, I'm about to watch how you. And I tried to explain I've never had a missing assignment in my life, and he was just so rude. Okay, I just washed my face and stuff, jump scare, but I calmed down a little. And then he told me to check the other classes piles. And I was just like, well, I turned it in. And he was like, well, I hear that all the time. And I'm trying to explain to this teacher that I've never had before that I am a straight A student that doesn't let this slide. You want to know what my grade right now? You want to know what my grade right now is because of it? You want to know? A C plus. I've never had a C plus in my life. Okay, we're going to call him Mr. Bean. And because Mr. Bean can accept the fact, accept, accept the fact that I turned in my paper and he lost it. I had to go to my desk and put my head down and silently cry while we're watching Cars 2. Yeah, yeah, we're watching Cars 2, and I'm in the back of the classroom trying to figure out why he can't admit that I turned in my paper and he lost it. 
So he's over here making a fool of me while everyone is dead silent. And I'm just like, well, what do you want me to do, man? So he hands me a blank copy of the paper I already did for me to redo it. So I just copied someone else's since he just gave them back. And he has the audacity when I turn it in to ask if I copied someone. I'm sorry, Mr. Bean, but yes, I did copy because I took the answers from the girls that I gave the freaking answers to. I'm so sorry that I sound overdramatic, but I low-key have, like, anger issues, and this pissed me off. Like, it just ruined my entire day, and then I had to go to training. I was just, like, crying in the car on the way to training. Like, not even because of that. I was just like, bro! I don't even know, but I actually had a good day besides that. But, like, now I'm just like, what the freak balls, you know? Anyway, I'm gonna go and do some homework now that I'm ready for bed. Do the work that's actually due on time that's not gonna be missing. Mr. Bean, if you ever see this, I hope you figure your stuff out. I liked him. I liked him. He was a funny teacher, but now I don't like him because, like, <clears throat> do I have to explain myself? Okay, bye. Have a good day. I just need to calm down. <laughs>